Hello, and today we are going to make some homemade pancake or waffle syrup. So let's go through the ingredients very quickly. We have two cups of water. We're going to use two cups of brown sugar. I'm not using white sugar, just one type of sugar, which is the brown. A pinch of salt, some orange extract. We have some clove and we have nutmeg. We have bay leaf, cinnamon. So those are the ingredients we are going to use to make our homemade pancake or waffle syrup. Let's get into this. So to my preheating pan, I am now going to add two cups of water. I am going to add all of the spices. Okay, so I'm adding at least a tablespoon of nutmeg. one whole cinnamon bay leaf about a teaspoon of salt a teaspoon of orange extract clove and i'm going to add two cup of brown sugar We're going to stir this and let it come to a boil. Click the bell for new video. I am going to more or less dissolve the sugar into the water. Remember the water is warm because we didn't put the water into a cold pot but a heated pot so the water will start to get hot quicker. Alright, so we're going to make sure the sugar is dissolved and we're going to let it come to a boil. If you want to add some heat but a mild heat to this you could add some pepper flakes that would add an extra amount of flavor to this you don't have to add too much for it to be unbearable so we're going to leave this and let it start to reduce until we get that nice thick feeling and then we're going to remove it from the heat. You can also add butter, but I am not going to use butter. So it has come to a boil. And I can't even express the aroma that is coming from this right now. So just remember, it's not jam we are making. So we're not going to boil this down on the stove until you get that thick consistency. But what you're going to do here is once it's not as runny as it was before, once the majority of the water has evaporated from this, you're going to remove it. It is still going to be like something like this consistency when you're going to put it in your container, all right, to cool. And once it has cooled on, that's when it will become that thick, lovely consistency that we know for our pancakes or our waffles so at this point now i'm going to take it off because it has that little runny-ish consistency but yet it has taken up a great amount so i'm going to remove the heat and going to pour it into a container to cool down Once it has cooled down, you can put it in your fridge, you can leave it out on a counter, but um, I used mine within 30 days. Once you're not using a dirty spoon to dip back into the syrup, and you're always using a clean spoon to take out some of the syrup, this can last you up to 30 days, but that is how long my syrup originally lasted. And it finished before it even started to go bad so it could last a while if you do the right thing by not using any dirty utensil 
to take out any or lick the spoon and 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 dip it back into the jar because then you'll be contaminating the whole container of syrup so i made some pancakes and i made some waffles the video for that waffle would be above and also in the end screen so you can go and check out the ingredients and how i made my waffles thank you all so much for stopping by and watching this quick homemade syrup <laughs>